function for a given mechanical system. In this video, we are going to understand what is the step by step procedure to obtain the transfer function. So, let us first understand what is the given system. Now, if we observe here is the spring mass and damper system and F of T is the applied force. And there is the displacement X is in the direction of the applied force. Now, what is the first step? So, for this given mechanical system, we have to obtain what is the mathematical model. Now, if we observe this system, applied force is F. And due to this applied force on this system, there is also the reaction forces. And these reaction forces are developed due to this mass, then spring, as well as this damper. But we know that due to this applied force, there is the displacement X. So we have to write the force due to mass in terms of displacement, force due to spring in terms of displacement and force due to damper in terms of displacement. And we know that the action force is equal to sum of the action forces. So action force is nothing but F of T. So I will write here F of T is equal to. Now what is the force due to mass? That is in terms of displacement M d square x by dt square. Then force due to damper that is B dx by dt. And force due to spring that is kx. So this is the mathematical model for this given mechanical system. Now, if we observe F of T, that is the applied force and this is nothing but input. And this input, that is this force, varies with respect to time T. And here, output is nothing but this displacement and this displacement also varies with respect to time T. So, we will write here the output is X of T. Now, we will rewrite this equation. So, how we will rewrite this equation? So, I will... Take here F of T is equal to M. Now this is the second order differential equation that is D square X by DT square. So I will write here X is also varies with respect to time, C, time T. So I will write here M X double dash of T plus B DX by DT that is X dash of T plus KX. So, this is the equation that we have to rewrite in terms of T, X of T. So, we can also write here as a X of T. Now, what is the transfer function that we have to understand? So, transfer function is nothing but the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input with zero initial condition. So this is so much important formula that is we have to apply in case of transfer function. So we, we have to note down in your notebook that is transfer function is equal to Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input with zero initial conditions. So this is the equation. So this is f of t is the output and this x of t. Uh, f of t is the input and x of t is the output. Now we will take the Laplace transform for this equation. So how to take the Laplace transform? So for that again we have here two important equations that is x double dash of t. So when there is x double dash of t then how we can write here the Laplace transform? That is s square capital X of s minus s small x of 0 minus x dash of 0. So we have to keep in mind what where is the exact capital x and where is the exact small x that is important. So this formula is also important and you have to apply each and every case when there is the x double dash of t. And here x dash of t. So here s capital X of S minus small x of 0. So this is also important formula. So we can replace here x double dash of t with this formula and x dash of t with this formula. And we will rewrite this equation. So this is nothing but the Laplace transform. So if we observe this closely then instead of t we have to write here x, s and 
uh, for this double dash that is the second order we have to take here a square and for when there is the first order then we have to take here simply as a s so this also these two formulas also you have to uh, note down in your notebook now i will rewrite this so i will take here f of s so instead of t we uh, by taking laplace transform so i will take here i will write here by laplace transformation so what is the equation by laplace transformation f of t will become f of s which is equal to m that is capital m will uh, remain as it is now instead of x double dash of t i will write this term in bracket that is s square capital x of s minus x s small x of 0 minus x dash of 0 bracket complete plus now second term is b b x dash of t so x x dash of t i will write this s capital x of s minus x of 0 plus k now here x of t is there so x of t i have to write here capital x of s that means we have to remove here t then this is the laplace transformation now we know that what is the uh, input that is f of t so in case of laplace transformation here f of s and output x of t so i will write here output will be capital x of s because for x of t we have to use here capital x of s so we have to take this as a common. So again I will rewrite or simplify this formula. Now here condition is that zero initial condition. So all these terms that is x of zero, x dash of zero, x of zero, these terms will become zero. So I will rewrite this. f of s is equal to m s square x of s plus b into s x of s plus k into x of s so now i will take this uh, output x of s as a common so here x of s if i take common then in the bracket capital m into s square plus b s plus k and here f of s but what is the laplace uh, uh, sorry what is the transfer function that is it is the ratio of output by input so output is x of t that is x of s and input is f of s so again i will uh, redefine or rewrite this formula in for this transfer function so i can also write here transfer function so i will write in short tf is equal to it is nothing but output that is x of s by f of s which is equal to so i have to take this to the left hand side that is 1 upon m s square plus b s plus a so this is nothing but the answer of this question